maybe I'm overreacting, but this, this really annoyed me. Maybe it shouldn't. You tell me what you think. So last month I bought myself a Netgear MS 510 TX eight port switch. Really, really nice switch. Uh, one gig, 2.5 gig, five gig, right up to 10 gig. Lots and lots of options. I did, I bought it on eBuyer. Not a lot of places had it in stock, but they had a decent deal on it. eBuyer, don't know if you've used eBuyer. They are a big company. You'd think, what could possibly go wrong? And then it began. I bought the Switch. I paid for the Switch. They delivered the Switch. I got an email saying, your order's been canceled. We're very sorry about that. And I thought, well, what are you talking about? Because you've already delivered it. I didn't think any more about it. A few days later, I got an email. Not to me. And it sounded like it was from a two-year-old kid. And I'm not, not trying to say there's anything wrong with two-year-old kids, but I don't think they should be working at customer service at eBuyer. And here's the thing. It said to me, hi. Well, that's not, my name is not hi. But they said, hi. Maybe they thought I was hi. And maybe I wish I was, but hi. Just contacting you in regards to your order. It's like you're talking to your mate down the pub. Due to a system error, I can see your order was both shipped and refunded. Therefore, we are needed the item to be returned or paid for. Can you confirm how you would like to proceed? Thanks, Jolie. I actually thought this has got to be a phishing email. It didn't have the details of my order. It didn't have my name. It had nothing. This is clearly a copy and paste a perfect phishing email. Send it back or give us the money, you know, and hoping someone bites. Well, I, I don't bite on phishing emails. I ignored that one. Still not realizing anything dodgy was going on. That was on the 12th of August, 25th of August. Again, two year old kid emails. Hi, just contacting you again in regards to this order. Please confirm if you would like to pay for the order, return it. Thanks, Jolie. Again, it's a cop, look. It's clear, it's a copy and paste. You, you, you must have tens or hundreds or thousands of people that this is, so at this point I realized I needed to check what's happened. I had been given a refund. So they said my order had been canceled. It had not been canceled. Let's get this straight. So what they said wasn't true. And this was why all the other confusion led from that. But never mind the confusion, you'll see when I get to the end, it's just appalling how they've treated people, not just me, because this is obviously to a lot of people. So what's happened is something's gone wrong in their systems. They've obviously given a load of refunds to a load of people after they've del after this pe these people have paid for their goods, received their goods, get an email, obviously scratching their head saying it's cancelled, don't think anything, well, I don't know what's going on. It wasn't cancelled. Maybe you're talking about another order. And the, the email looks like a phishing email. It really does. So at this point, I'm just annoyed. They, I can see they've made a mistake. They've given me a refund. But there's no detail. This is a joke. I realize there's loads and loads of people in the same boat. I'm going to wait till they can at least come up with my name. Don't treat me like an idiot thinking this is a normal email and you haven't copied and pasted it because you've made such a cock up. So many people uh, have got refunds they shouldn't have. There's no apology here, by the way. It, it's, that's the point. This is just like, oh, by the way, major cock up, but well, they haven't said it. And we want our money back or our goods back. Didn't offer to pay for the return of the goods. Anyway, it goes on. That was the 25th of August, 14th of September. Hi, that's not my name, eBuyer. My name is not hi. Just contacting you again in regards to this order. Please confirm. Now notice. 14th of September, 25th of September, word for word, is exactly the same. It's a copy and paste. People are getting paid just to copy and paste and treat us like idiots. Uh, 14th of September, uh, I think I've got two emails that day. It's of the same thing. And then, well, right now I'm trying to get to the imaging gritty. So, we come up to today. So this has gone out of order, right, I wish. You know me, I, I, my life is hectic, nothing is in order. Yesterday, I got an email saying, 
I wish he was here. Um, oh, here we are. So yes, of course, 14th of September is indeed yesterday. So on the same day, one just a copy and paste, but then hello. So <laughs> they've changed the template. Notice this. So all the others have been word for word. Hi, now it's starting. Hello. They've come up with a new template, still thinking we are idiots. Just contacting you once again. Oh, they really know it's me, but they don't. I know you're doing this probably to hundreds of people. If we do not hear back from you shortly in regards to this, we will be taking legal action against you. Now, I realize that's gone out to those people. It's not actually to me, but obviously they're trying to put the fear of God into people. Please get back ASAP, please. Thanks, Jody. New template. Here's my problem. They've offered no easy solution, have they? I should send, that, send back the goods at my own cost for goods I had already paid for. Or how do I pay you? Tell me, how do you want the money? Nothing. Treating us like absolute idiots. So that got my back up. Now I'm going to reply, hello, Jolie. See, when I, when I send an email, I use the name. eBuyer, a company of your size, start using names. How hard could it have even been to automate the fact that someone's got a name in the Norden number? No, they're having some, someone there, they're on, I don't know, they're on day leave from some, some training scheme and they're sitting in there and, and saying, right, do this. And they, oh. how many, how many, how few brain cells can we use to make this, reply in this email? Go. Right, hello, Jody. What a wonderful way to treat customers. So I know this is a rant, but you tell me. Hey, I don't know the legal situation, but I, I do know I did nothing wrong. And they need to use my money, they used my name, and then you need to just tell me, this is how we want you, we would like you to uh, send the money back. They didn't offer it anything like that. And I can see it's not to me yet, it's to everybody. That's why I sat back and at a minimum, give the normal, give some sort of discount. This is my thinking. You're putting me through the house of all this extra work and trying to threaten me with these emails. Offer your normal customers something back. They haven't tried to defraud you. What a wonderful way to treat customers. I paid for this item. You later refunded it. I didn't ask for the refund. And only now am I picking up the emails. You are, my, you are now threatening legal action for your own error. How appalling. I realize, of course, I've got their money. I didn't ask for their money. But as I said, I'm waiting for them to come to act like normal people. Hello, Alan. This is how we'd like you to send the money back. Sorry about the problem. It was a massive cock up at our end. A company our size should not be making IT errors this way. And we've sacked our entire IT department. How poorly. Where is the long explanation and apology? Where is the personal touch? You invite me to send the item back or pay for it when I already paid for it. I cannot control your own internal issues. Please let me know how you expect me to pay for it while keeping the nuisance to myself to a minimum. I think that's fair, isn't it? Perhaps you should be offering some compensation to myself for the distress you're causing me for something I had no control over. You did. Um, look, I, I did put in, oh, I'm Alan Ross of the Alan Ross Review Channel. Look, I'm not getting big headed, but I've got nothing. I, I have no other leverage. So I thought I would tell them because I did intend at that point to come and tell you guys because I was that pissed off and have a rant. It does make me feel better if I sit here and tell you something I'm ranting. I'm Alan Ross of the Alan Ross for Views channel. I will be letting my followers know of the experience. If I only get 10 views on this video, it will be highly embarrassing, but let's see what happens. By the way, I also noticed the cut and paste nature of this email. No name, I'm not silly. You clearly have major issues at eBuyer and simply mass emailing those involved with non-personal threatening emails. Terrible way to treat customers for your own cock up. Best regards, Alan Ross. So a bit of progress the, the next morning. They've got my name. Good morning, Alan. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Normality has returned, or so I thought. I have been made aware of the situation regarding your order, and I can only apologize for this. And by the way, this is now not the, the, the low end rung customer service, not, not putting anyone down who is in customer service. However, it was the lowest rung of the customer service. Now it's a senior advisor, apparently. Probably the guy sitting, next, well, it's a girl sitting next to him, I don't know. I've been married, with this. we have attempted to reach out to you. Reach out to me. No, you didn't. You mass mailed everybody. We have attempted to reach out to you numerous times regarding the error. It's not numerous times, I think it was like four. By email, and that's my point. So, the, uh, um, right, uh, right, cut to the chase out. 
error, which has been made, and, and I do understand the frustration this has caused yourself, although I doubt it, as it has been an, as it has been an error on our side. No, no shit, Batman. It is due to those, these failed contact attempts, these failed contact attempts that the legal route has been mentioned. So the, their, their attempts are, uh, I think, a total of four cut and paste phishing template emails. We can arrange payment to be taken for this by building a new order onto your account and you would need to log into your account on the My Order section. It would give an option to amend your payment and the payment, mem uh, the, the, the payment method and the payment will then be processed. Please let me know if you are happy. No, I'm not happy. I think you're taking a piss to process this. And once again, I'm very sorry for any inconvenience, any inconvenience, I've already explained to you the inconvenience, this situation of course, cause completely ignored the bit about, and offer a discount. Go some way to actually trying to keep your customer base. No, they could give a it. Right, so of course I've, I have replied, dear Kelsey, I've got, because we've got names now, I note this issue has now been escalated all the way to senior advisor level. Although quite honestly, the nature of your internal issue an awful, impersonal matter of fact. Follow-ups deserve a slightly higher escalation, I would suggest. I note this is the f I note this is the first time any correspondence has actually used my name, but hey ho, well done, you, you've moved forward in the in the world of customer service. You stated you attempted to reach out to me on numerous occasions. I would beg to differ. I I note no phone calls have been made. Pick up the phone. Be personal. Hey, I'm sorry, we made a massive cock up on our end. Can we have our money back? Um, is 10 quid off for the inconvenience? Everybody's happy. You have made four attempts at making contact by email. The nature of the communication being cut and paste with no personal details made me actually think that the first email was a phishing attempt. This is how you apparently made a serious attempt explaining the issue and reaching out, what they call a serious attempt, to reach out for a mutual. So, so just remember, their first email, hi, just contacting you in regards to your order, which they previously told me they'd cancelled. Due to a system error, I can see your order was both shipped and refunded. We're needed in the item to be returned, not offering to pay for it to go back or pay for. Well, of course, I paid for it in the first place. And of course, it's quite reasonable to expect it to be paid for. Tell me how you want me to pay for it. No. Can you confirm how you would like to proceed? Thanks, Jody. So no details of my name, of the, of the order. That is an absolute phishing template that they're sending out and expecting people to take seriously. Come on. I said, if that's not a template from a phishing email, then it certainly should be. You didn't use my name. You expected the item to be returned at my own cost. You didn't give details of the product and you gave no order details. You were then expecting me and who knows how many others to simply send you the product or the money for the product for a second time. The first contact should have explained how the issue arose at an absolute minimum should have started with the customer's name and should have offered some sort of discount for the troubles caused if you are actually serious about how you treat your customers. On the second email, I actually checked and I did indeed receive the uh, mentioned refund, which of course I did not ask for and had already paid for. However, I was astonished by the matter of fact nature of the communication and waited for a serious email where it used my name, gave details of the order and offered a method of free payment rather than inviting me to do that work for you. Sadly, the cut and paste nature of the correspondence never changed. The last email, while not using my name, still clearly part of a mass mailing campaign and simply now threaten legal action. I was so staggered by this total lack of humility and empathy with the customer, with the innocent customer, I made the reply explaining how I found your so-called customer service appalling. I really do. I made the sensible su suggestion that given this all arose from your own internal errors, that at a minimum, you should be offering some sort of discount from the original price. But you simply declined, declined to comment on that suggestion. For the first time, you mentioned an actual route to allow the customer to make that payment. Sure, go ahead, if that's your one and only solution. If your customer service reputation means nothing to you, then also go ahead, charge the full original amount. I am personally, I am, I'm personally staggered at the apparent nonchalant manner you deal with your customers for your own mistakes. Thought that was the end of it. I was gonna go on, well I did, I went on to log on, as they had just told me, so I could pay for this item they refunded without telling me, without me even asking for and I'd already paid for. That's what I got. My account is inactive. Can you believe how uh, incompetent e-buyer are and the customer services are? So the one route they've offered for me to pay for this item, I can't, because they deactivated my account. So, you tell me, have I overreacted? I find it 
I find the whole manner of it appalling, that they can just decide we made a huge error, going to mass mail everybody, God knows how I many, it could be thousands for all I know. Obviously, if something's gone wrong, maybe everybody on that day got refunded. Maybe you are someone who got refunded. Let us know <laughs> where you are uh, in, in this whole <sighs> sad saga. But there we are. I've offered to pay for it. Their route to pay for it is impossible because they've de deactivated my account. But it's all taking time and effort. At a minimum, it should be getting a disc, should be offering a discount. But that's, that's it. You tell me, have I overreacted? I've had to spend time dealing with this on a product that I ordered and paid for um, in, in, full, in complete faith. I didn't try and defraud them. And I didn't know they'd refunded. I got an email saying the order had been canceled, which obviously I've just laughed at because I, had, I, know, I don't know what you've done, but I've got it. It was only on the second email I went back and I realized that I had indeed refunded. But look at the nature of the email. We've got a two-year-old writing to me saying, hi. I do that in the, I didn't, well, I hadn't done that since I was 10 years old in the playground. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, got any sweets? And it's an absolute joke. And now it's been escalated to who? To the senior customer server, service advisor who tells me to go onto my inactive account and pay for it, pay the full amount. No apology, no explanation of how that happened. Absolutely couldn't care less. That's my rant. I'll tell you if anyone's interested how it turns out because I did I did uh, email again. I think did I put that down? Tell them. But uh, <laughs> your method of uh, I'm, I'm got it here. But I did just email again saying your method of uh, me paying I can't do. You've de deactivated my account. Do you actually know? What? I didn't say that. But this is my in the top of my head. I'm saying, do you actually have any idea of what you're talking about? That's been my video. I probably probably uh, longer than the forty-five minute uh, boombox. Three, what the hell? Twenty minute. Ugh. I can't really edit that. So. Anyway, is there? If anyone's watching, as I said, if I only get ten views, twenty views, it's quite embarrassing as I've bigged myself up. But there you go. Thanks for watching. I ain't got their life. I ain't got their life. I ain't a project wife. I'm a logic right because I'm not your type. I ain't got their life. I ain't got that life. Sorry, my I ain't get it right. I'ma just live my life. I ain't about that. I ain't about that life. Uh.